The second tab within users is roles. And within roles, there are a variety of standard roles which you can assign to as many people as you would like. These standard roles include owner, which would give the user access to everything. Admin, which would give them access to everything except for settings, enterprise setup, and billing. Staff, which would give them access to everything except for users, roles, settings, enterprise setup, and billing. And then client, which has limited access to specific reports and visualizations for their entity. If you want to see the detail of each of these roles, you can just click on this drop down over here and you'll see what has been selected for each of these standard roles. So for owner, we'll see that everything has been selected as we expected. For admin, we'll see that everything's been selected except for settings. For staff, we also see that settings has been deselected. And then if we were to go to client, we'll see that there's many more sections that have been deselected and they only have access to a few portions of SIFT. So these are the standard roles that you could use to give access to people within your organization, but we also have the ability to create a custom role. So with custom roles in SIFT, you can create a role that looks any way you want, drilling into the most granular detail. So for example, you may want to have a user who only needs access to certain graphs under visualization. And you can then create a role for exactly that. So to create a new role, you're going to click on create role. You're going to give it a name. So I'm going to call it director because perhaps I'm going to give all the directors access to this. And then we can go select what we want them to have access to. So if I go and click on the drop down there under reports, I can give them access to download reports and share reports. I can give them access to edit a live view and to create a scheduled report. And so you'll see, I can give quite specific detailed access when it comes to reporting. I can go do similar things under settings and give them access to specific portions of that. And then perhaps visualize is quite a key part I want to give them access to. I could select the whole of visualize or I could go and deselect specific parts that I don't want them to have access to. You can do this with all the rest of the settings and with our add-ons whether it be the connector or the audit add-on, you can go and really customize and tailor the features that you give them access to. When you are happy with the details of this role that you've created, you can click save role. And now this director will appear at the bottom as a custom role. You can go and see what you've given them access to and always go edit it at a later stage. And you can always go and delete this role as well if you no longer need it. So this is useful when it comes to giving clients access to specific areas that they need or giving a fellow accountant access to post journals, but not add users. So this gives you the ability to involve and collaborate with your team, but also ensures that the least privileged principle has been upheld and that you hold people accountable for what happens on SIFT because you give them access to only the areas that they need. So that's how you would use the role section on SIFT.